morning children welcome to rishikul online classes this is veena and i welcome you in module 7 of the chapter the summer of the beautiful white horse written by william saroya in module 6 we discussed how murad and aram came face to face with john byro on their way but murad handled the situation very smartly john byro who recognized the horse to be his but could not say anything because he knew about the family's honesty yes children when john byro the rightful owner of the horse noticed the horse and inquired its name murad replied that the horse name was my heart byro recognized it to be his own horse that was stolen many weeks ago he established the identity of the horse by looking into its mouth He was ready to swear that the horse was his but as he knew that both the boys belonged to Garogalanian tribe which was famous for its honesty and integrity for the last 11 centuries so he concluded that the horse was the twin of his stolen horse Now both the boys were left with no choice but to return the horse because their family's name and honor were at stake and they did not want to bring a bad repute to it through their actions their conscience pricked them and they decided to return the horse to its rightful owner let me tell you next early morning when they took the horse back from the deserted wine yard of fatvesia aram noticed that the dogs were following them but murad said that he had a way with dogs also so they would not bark at them then his cousin murad put his arms around the horse pressed his nose into the horse and even patted it and tied it in the barn of john byro when john byro found his horse back in his barn he was overjoyed he found that his horse was stronger and better tempered than ever he went to uncle khusro to share his happiness but as he reached there and gave this good news to him do you know what uncle khusro said quiet man quiet your horse has been returned pay no attention to it so this was the response from uncle khusro to john byro so let me tell you children this is the end of the story let me tell you that this lesson teaches many moral lessons to us first is one should never steal and one should maintain ethics at the first hand second society runs smoothly and peacefully if people have faith and trust in their relationships third we should not allow our adversities to get the better of us fourth we must never give in to temptations just like murad does as they lead to sin so now in module 8 there are some practice questions for you you can see it here and you can write their answers on the basis of your understanding of the chapter so now this is the end of the chapter i hope you understood it well thank you